after executive. Just for the record, the meeting will be recorded. Go ahead, Mayor. Okay, it is now 7.45 p.m. We are reconvening uh, into open session uh, and we will or, uh, take na action if necessary. And for the record, no action was taken during executive. And just for the record, I wanna apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The reason that I do not have my camera on is because I am on the road and due to my battery being low and not enough good connection, um, it's not letting me access uh, the camera correctly. Um, so I wanna apologize for that. But now that we're in uh, open session, item one is discussion, consideration, and action with regard to the Town of Anthony's lease option contract with Robert Lopez related to the town's property municipally identified as 100 West Rainbow Drive in Anthony, Texas, 79821. Do I have any comments left uh, for open session or do we have uh, a motion for this item? A motion to initiate uh, eviction proceedings in regards to the lease agreement with Mr. Robert Gonzalez. Robert Lopez. Oh, sorry, Robert Lopez. Okay, anything else? All right, do I got a motion on the table? I'll second it. All right, I have a motion made by Councilman Alfaro, seconded by Councilman Garcia to move forward and proceed with the eviction proceedings uh, against Mr. Robert Lopez. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion will carry. Do we have a motion, Councilman? Can you please repeat that, Norma? Do we have another motion for the executive session? Yes, a motion to initiate collection proceedings in regards to the water leak repair. Okay, do I have a second for that one? I'll second that one too. I'll second. All right, seconded by Councilman Garcia. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. And Mayor, could we add a, a friendly amendment to both, to both of those motions to reflect the reason for those motions and proceeding in those manners is due to the delinquency of Mr. Lopez in his payment on rental payments for the, and also payment of the, um, the water bill, the uh, water repair bill. Sorry about that. I was still on mute, guys. Um, Henry, on that one, did you want them to go ahead and redo the motion or just for the record, uh, document and state the amendment? Either one will work, Mayor. I mean, if, if Councilor uh, Alfaro wants to just put a amendment to those and then and to say that, except for that, is speaking in those matters, delinquency in. in uh, Okay, go ahead, Mr. Alfano. Uh, I couldn't like hear what Henry, Henry was breaking up when he was talking, so I didn't really hear what he was saying. And Councilor Alfaro, could you do a friendly amendment to both of those motions, just to state the reason uh, for proceeding in that manner, which would be because, due to the delinquency of Mr. Uh, Robert Lopez in the payment of his rental payments and also in the payment of the water repair bill sure i'd like to add to the motion that we're doing this because of mr robert lopez delinquency in his payments and also in regards to the water bill all right i have a friendly amendment made by councilman alfaro do i have a second second 
All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. And then in regards to the amendment to the uh, collection uh, motion that you made, Mr. Alfaro? Do I have to repeat the second motion, Henry? Uh, Mayor, I think you're we, we We covered it. Okay. Yes. Hey guys, it's because it's breaking up a bit, so my apologies. Oh, um, I got you. All right, go ahead, and we already made a motion on the agenda item. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, we'll keep you guys posted on those developments. Uh, moving on to departmental reports. Uh, Street, Mr. Hawkins, anything to add? Uh, yes, sir. Just that we are, we're almost ready to uh, to start paving that section from Fourth Street to uh, to Sixth Street on Poplar. Sir, we had just a little setback on the one of the uh, ADA ramps on Fourth Street. We have there were some changes made on it. Um, uh, Gilbert and I met this uh, today. We addressed those issues to uh, the contractor, sir, and they're getting it fixed. Just to let you know. Thank you, sir. Have you heard any or got any update, uh, updates back from the gas company? As a matter of fact, sir, uh, we called uh, right there and then. Uh, we were supposed to get a date for this uh, week uh, for the meter to be moved. And also, uh, just like I said, we went still on them. And they, they say it's supposed to be at this week. So hopefully it's going to be moved by this week. And uh, just to on that note, we went ahead and moved our meters, our water meters. So we gave them a way for them for the contract to uh, start pouring the concrete for the sidewalk, sir. They're getting ready. Awesome, sir. Thank you very much. I know it's been a headache and we've had a lot of setbacks uh, with this overall project. And some of it were due to some things, you know, going back and forth with the state, getting funds released in a timely manner. And then also we had the rains and stuff uh, that kind of pushed things and delayed things back uh, at the beginning of the project. But as of now, I'm happy with the progress that it's making. I think it should be done uh, pretty much within the next three weeks, wouldn't you say, or about a month? Uh, actually, we're going to be, uh, that section, sir, is going to be actually less. It's going to be, you know, actually quicker than that, sir. We're looking for the section from, uh, at least in front of the school, from four to six within the next week, sir. That's great news. Um, I mean, it looks good. Were you guys able to address some of the concerns we had with the pouring of the concrete and the way it was setting? That was one of the things we addressed today, sir, with a with a contractor, um, because we saw uh, one of the sidewalks already cracking, sir. So we did address it. They're gonna actually demolish it. We noticed the, the fourth from Fourth Street to uh, east. I'm sorry, west to Kelwood. We noticed one of the driveways already cracked, sir, on the on the, on the sidewalks. So they are going to have to pour out again. That was one of the, that was one of the issues we addressed today, sir, in our, in our meeting. And that's somebody in the street, sir. I'll let you have something else. Thank you, sir. And that's just what we wanted to let everybody know is some of the stuff is our, we've had Everett and our guys um, and our street engineer going out and looking at the project as it's being built. Um, to identify any potential issues, you know, that might be developing in the future. And one of the things that for sure, you know, just like we did with Wildcat is we're going to make sure we do walkthroughs um, several times before, you know, or while it's still warranted. That way, if there are any cracks or anything like that, we can get these guys to come out and fix it um, in a timely manner. But other than that, thank you guys for all the hard work ever. Thank you for staying on top of that and keeping me in the loop. Um, I look forward to this. Hopefully, as you guys know, you know, we might be dealing with the same issues. Hopefully COVID's not, you know, such a major issue in regards to delaying notices and overall communication with, you know, funding agencies. But once they move forward and start doing 6th Street all the way up to, what is it, Magdalena, Ebert? Magdalena, yes, sir. We're also going to be facing the same issues with the water there. So, you know, we're going to have to make sure we budget and, you know, knock the water out in a timely manner prior uh, to get all that, you know, being done again. Um, so that's some of the things that we're looking at having to do on our end once again. So, you know, these guys, it's a learning opportunity. We're going to know what worked, what didn't work, and how to best streamline these practices in regards to, you know, what we need to do on our end. But 
other than that, thank you, Ever, for uh, working on all that and staying on top of it. Moving on to the next agenda item, we're going on to Parks and Recreation. Mr. Hockett. On the Parks, as you know, uh, I did uh, call Mr. Ivan Hawkins again. We still have those uh, uh, traffic lights still out. I also emailed him. I was CC you on him. And uh, there, he didn't reply. The last time I spoke with him was about a, about a week ago. And uh, the reason why they're delaying, one of the crew uh, guys is out, actually. He's out on uh, sick leave. And uh, it's being delayed. And at the beginning, he told me three weeks. So we're in the second week. So hopefully by next week, we get power uh, back on the poster for the parks. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, that's about it for parks, sir. All right. Moving on to police and fire chief. Nothing major to report, Mayor. Just that our guys are super busy, but still out there. Awesome. Thank you, Chief. Uh, water and sewer, Mr. Hawkins. And on the, and on the on, on the water and sewer, sir. I, I did a. Uh, we had a little phone conference with a. Uh, with Mark Sanchez, our engineer, the well, sir, and uh, like uh, put you up to speed, sir. It's actually sad to announce that due to the COVID, uh, everything's getting delayed. So uh, the pump curve that we uh, shows, uh, actually the engineer shows in uh, with the pump, it's going to take uh, three months to get here, sir. So we're looking to the beginning of next year have the well, you know, on our system. I was definitely looking forward to having it before winter, you know, but. Uh, the way it looks right now with the COVID, all the delays that we've been having, it's going to be three months before we get that pump. And uh, that's about it, what I have for the water, sir, unless you have something else. No problem. I mean, usually the, it, it, it's really it's kind of frustrating at times, you know, all the delays and stuff that we've been seeing with certain things, but you know what? It is what it is. You know, we got to make the best of it. We do the best that we can to inform our residents in regards to those delays. But, I mean, sometimes, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, so I appreciate you for staying on top of that as well. Uh, we're going to wrap up with water and move on to court. Uh, Ms. Norma Gonzalez or Mr. Palomares. Did you guys hear me? Yes, sir. I have okay. the next council meeting, I mean, the next court session for October. And that's going to be October the 7th at 10 a.m. and uh, 2 p.m. October 14th at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. October 28th, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. The total revenue for this month was. Okay. Anything that you'd like to add, Mr. Palomares? Uh, no, Mayor, other than uh, there, you know, all the hearings were heard. Okay. Uh, moving on uh, from courts, moving on to finance. Um, basically, everything's good. You guys, you know, we're fine. We finalized the budget. We look forward to, uh, you know, maintaining and cleaning up and streamlining all the uh, accounting practices. Um, of course, it's always been a learning uh, experience and you know, from hearing different things, you know, from different uh, accounting agencies, um, basically the way we went and moved forward this year is just following with, you know, what the ideal uh, financial uh, situation, documentation and record keeping would be uh, to the auditor's, you know, request. So we, we did all that we could to follow and mirror that. So I think we're going to be pretty good this year. Um, we just make sure we stay on top of the and go from um, moving on to Mayor, <laughs> you're cutting off? Mayor. I don't really have anything to report. Yeah, okay. You're cutting off? I barely hear you. Let me see. It's because the video my reception. Um, Can you guys hear me now? Yes. Okay. Uh, basically, just, you know, I apologize, guys. Like I said, uh, my reception's not too good up here. Uh, but basically, under the administration, um, I don't really have much to add. Uh, everything that we're doing with the finances, accounting, um, this year moving forward, you know, I'm looking forward to continue working with everybody. We
We do need to let everybody know, just for the record, um, in regards to November elections, we will be having elections uh, at town hall, but early elections will not be held at town hall. Individuals will have to go to uh, the closest early voting station, which would be the annex um, up here in Westway Vinton. And so there is no misunderstandings. The reason why the early voting is not being held in Anthony is because we are not a designated early voting uh, site. Because we are also tied to the presidential elections and the county elections, um, that the locations for that were voted by the county board, uh, if I am not mistaken. And Anthony was just not on one of those spots for early voting. And due to the COVID concerns, I think they're trying to minimize potential exposure, but also keep, you know, the early voting uh, to the designated areas in an organized fashion. So, um, you know, there's, there's nothing hidden. There's no gimmicks. Uh, we just were not an early voting site when it came to this election. Most of it's just ours on our own. Uh, we do do have early voting here at Town Hall, but because we are tied to the presidential elections um, in November, we will not be a designated early voting site. So just, you know, we'll make sure we put that information out to the residents and they can understand, you know, the way the process will be uh, working uh, for November, okay? Yes, sir. Any other questions, any comments? Um, we are looking to wrap up. Mayor, we're losing you again. Uh, basically, the regular council meeting is scheduled at 6.30 p.m. on Monday, October 12, 2020. Do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? You're Do I have mute. a second? You're on mute. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion to adjourn the meeting at 802. Thank you guys. And I apologize for all the patchy connections. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Adios. Yeah. Adios, Adios.